Okay, back to the dashboard. Uh, let's start it up. Oh, the window feature actually works good. Add this end world guy. Cycle weapons, look, bullet time, use, crouch, shoot, dodge. Okay. Should I do previously? Let's let's try it out and see it. I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA. Went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm in the century. My first stop was Vinnie Gagnetti low life in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Wood promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Bravora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. Here we go. Part one, the darkness inside. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. Um. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes and everything slid into focus. She 
she was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Oh. It's crazy how the game looks so much better and it's only like two years later. Controls, movement, no. Combat, no. Most settings, here we go. The cool thing is this game actually, uh, I don't want to auto aim. Auto weapon change, no. Enable bullet time aid. Okay, sure. It lets you actually select the crosshair you want to use. That's pretty sick. I'm gonna do white crosshair. Resume game. Okay, awesome. What the fuck? Yeah, showering. Yeah. Crazy. Look at this, even like. Yeah. Max, Hello. what's going on? Whoa. Anyone there? Max, about what happened. I would fuck. Max, hey! Drop your weapon! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. There was a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. No entridado. Painkillers. I already took two painkillers. Where the hell did I get a gun from? I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! <laughs> wow, this game is so much better than the first one. Already? That was cool. Jesus, I threw them down like four. Why did I shoot that guy? I don't even know who that is. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. Winter scene. The hell is going on?
Surgery. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs was breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Ah! Ah, bullshit. The fuck? running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from only the holes grown deeper god damn I had tried to run from it edit it out Winterson was dead I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together, you cut yourself. Your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her. I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledged. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective. But I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. Like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words.
I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. Save. The fuck? Okay. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Like a side entrance. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chase lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. And the sounds and everything that they developed for this game. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop using ammo. NYPD. Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Shoot! Ah! What? Fuck, I'm really injured. Die, die! Perhaps we're masquerading as cleaners. We're trying to clean the place. They should have more sense than to bleed on the Nice. Okay, I'll round up the crew, make sure the cleanup's done. 
Bodies, blood, prints, air, mags, empty brass. When we're out of here, there won't be... The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Whoa. Tons of guns everywhere, ammo everywhere. Bum, 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 bum. Pum, pum, pum. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beat. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Blood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happens to you, anything comes up, just whistle and I'll be there. Hmm. You have no new messages. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh God, no! Like all Whoa. the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! Die! 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 Lord. Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona Sax! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning.
Why am I going out there? I shouldn't be going there. I don't know. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. The hell's that? Where the hell are they? Yeah, I wish the game was out for PC. I want to play it. I have I have all my I mean I have so many of the old consoles but I don't have any of the new consoles. Just didn't feel like getting any of the new consoles. Chasing these guys. Get it. Oh. Oh. Max. You all right? We're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Do you still have Destiny? I remember a couple of days ago you said that uh, you traded it in, right? Because nobody wanted to do things with you. They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Oh my god. Shit. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. 
A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Dad, shut up and stay alive, I'm coming. Max, you heard him. He's coming for you. Whoa. Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble taking them. Mike the Cowboy. <laughs> oh wow, that guy got wrecked. Hey, you Max Payne? Afraid so. Max, I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride. Sorry about that. Oh, you can kick him. That's hilarious. Okay, save this. Let's keep going. They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Jesus, how many Jesus people did he Christ, kill? Apocalypse now. Got some heavy shit. <laughs> Clearson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Logic is such a liar. Shit! Okay. We'll get there. Up the stairs. Oh, they locked it. The whole set for it, too. The only way to do it. Hey, Chip, one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> Let's keep going. Hey, what can you do? Vinny's the boss. Half of the time, he's too busy playing with... Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Holy crap. I know I am fucking trying to go fast. Where the fuck? What the hell? Where is this fighting going on? I can't. Oh, I can't go down here. Are they in the? Oh, there's a door here. Oh fuck! Oh my god, that was a terrible fucking plan. Shit. Tap. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Shit! That's not what I wanted. Mark, damn it. Ah! Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already. What do I have to do here? Is it just like last time? Wait. Oh shit. Yeah! 
sick. I forgot how how good they actually how good they improved this game compared to the original one. Uh, man, look, I've got all these guns already. Fuck. Oh yeah. I'm oh my god, are you fucking kidding me right now? First death. Oh, there's grenades here too. Is there grenades? Oh yeah, they're in the melee section now. Uh, I think I'm gonna use a Desert Eagle. Let's try this out a bit. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Sick. Oh man, I forgot how good this game is. You can't hide. You're huh, okay. All three guys dead. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Kill that guy? Nice! AK, buddy! Fuck, I love the AK. Holy shit! Where the fuck is this battle going on? Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to go in here. Let's just save this. Okay, that was bad. Oh, it's one of those things. Die, Russian! Fucking die already! You are not even trying! <laughs> Vladimir! It's like my dad's name. Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Oh, no pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? So go around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way you 
your hands are shaking. You couldn't hear the track. Shut up! Shut up and take my shit! <laughs> Damn, he's completely remodeling the... Your fucking pay for this Russian, your fucking pay! My hero! You saved my life! I could kiss you! <laughs> Vinny Gogniti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Chapter 3 Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. Oh my god, not this shit again. Oh, never mind. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. What the fuck? Is that actually not slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. Is that my door? I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. What the hell? Wow, this is trippy as shit. Wow. I remember at the beginning, this game was like one of the first games that had like physics and stuff dropping down. Look at that. Incredible. This game is so trippy right now. It's like I'm high. Max. Max. Whoa. Who's this? Oh, it's Mona. Max. Whoa. Sorry, I woke you. Shh. It's a secret. You must tell no one. Max. Max. You better answer that. Max. 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 Jesus. We need 
need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! I survive? Yeah. You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Push your luck. Sit down. Sit down now. Drop your weapon. What the hell is going on? This is like the weirdest dream ever. My hero. Up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find out what was going on. Jesus. You! Flush my toilet, take a shower. Yeah. Man, this is the worst apartment ever. Fucking New York City. Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. <laughs> Can't talk, don't know, gotta go. Okay, let's do this. It's my apartment. Oh, fucking no. Oh, it's the cleaners. Oh, it's the cleaning guys. Where the hell did she go? Something was barring the door from the other side. Huh. Oh, no, you won't. Get out. Get out. <laughs> oh, man. No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. Hel I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Where's this gun, lady? Oh, thanks for the painkillers. This is it? That okay. Let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Wow. Hoodlums. This used to be a nice neighbor. <laughs> Lock the door. Don't open it for anyone but the police. So good. Huh. That was awesome. The way the lady fucked up that guy. All these doors are locked. I called the police. They're coming to take you away. Okay, lady. I end the cops. 
Okay, so I guess I gotta go outside here. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked! Thank god. What the fuck? The hell kind of apartment is this? This guy just... For me by chance. My lord, I I was Oh this is so difficult. <laughs> my lady. My oh. lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Kaufman wants is taken care of. Let's just find it. Nice. Who the hell is this Kaufman character? I can't remember. This game is severely upgraded from the last one. God, I'm having so much fun right now. Such a nice young man. Coming to see an old lady like me? Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. Thank you, lady. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. <laughs> I've heard them talking in the corridor. Thank you for the pills, lady. I found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. Whoa. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Crazy. Home is where your heart is. Oh shit. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bot. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. <laughs> I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. Oh, man. That was good. That was so good. Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more coming behind the door. Closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Whoa. Leave a message. Hey, where are you? You're late again. Look, this insomnia crap isn't fooling anyone. I know what it's like. I, I just want to help. You should come to an AA meeting with me. Thank you for calling Dangerous Liaisons. For Candy, press 1. For Sandy, press 2. For Mona, press 3. You press 3 for Mona. Hi, this is Mona. What's your name? I just need someone to talk to. Honey, this is a phone It's not the spring! <laughs> Jeez, that guy had an AK? God. Oh shit, there's another guy here. Damn! And the two guys. Cover me! Oh no! Oh. Whew! God, why would you throw a grenade inside an apartment building? What the hell's wrong with people? Damn, that was an insane nade too. Apartment 
building is really weird. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. Should save. They're crazy. Hell, they want to clean me out. You can't hide like that. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of the cleaner. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeon. With the pigeon? The codes that set him close. Ed knows. You know Ed, the janitor. Ed. Oh, Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turret. Basement. Mm -hmm, night. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. Six, six, seven. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Hey, cool okay. bros, how's it going? Here. Yes, okay. they are amazing games, and I'm playing through the entire trilogy. We just finished Max Payne 1. I'm playing Max Payne 2. I just started. Well, I'm about a halfway through the chapter 1. And then I'm gonna play the third one after it. I've never actually played the third one. Oh, shit. Cow, shoot, shoot! They are awesome games. Great storylines, great action. Really, really good games. Oh, so I need, I need to go upstairs. Amazing. This is what games are about. Right here. I finished these games before, like, long time ago. I mean, I've played them when they first came out, right? It's just, uh, the third game, Max Payne 3, I've never actually... Yeah, yeah, I've never actually played it. I played maybe 10 to 15% of it, and then I just stopped. So I decided I'm gonna play through the entire trilogy. What? I thought you can go through the top floor. Didn't I get... Oh, hold on. I think I need to use the elevator again, right? Yes. There we go. Yeah, I'm actually excited for the third one. Because obviously the mechanics are updated and stuff like that. But I just played the first one, and uh, I gotta say... I forgot how good the mechanics changed over the, the years. I hear doors opening. Yeah! So good. Let's see this. Actually runs really well. I'm surprised. Because the first one had a little bit of problems. And this one is actually running really well. Bathroom, nice. Tons of pills. Two days and two nights of the 90s cold series. Whoa, this apartment is nice. Oh! <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Fucking one shot. Wrecked. Awesome shot. I didn't go check out the other room yet. Oh man, I killed the lady. Turn that shit off. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, these doors are closed. Yeah, hopefully you stick around. If you want to watch or something. They're awesome games. I love them. I forgot how good the second one actually is. I might play it one more time. It's just fun. Nothing else to it. It's it's pretty challenging. It's fun. The story is really good. Oh shit. Whoa shit. Oh fuck, I didn't want two. Just wanted one. Jeez, these apartment buildings are crazy. Then you can only carry eight, I think. Just like the first game. The explosion in my apartment and started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Apartments are closed. Huh, weird. Yeah, all these apartments are closed. Damn it. Okay. Uh. Oh, got wrecked. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, my God. That's the mechanic I was talking about uh, uh, in the first game that they didn't have. It's a really important mechanic. Because in the second game, uh, no, sorry, in the first game, when you landed on the floor and you kept firing, your character would just get up, right? No matter what, which is bad, obviously. Uh, I have to go downstairs, right? I have to make it to the street. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at this. Physics! <laughs> love it so yeah in the second game they they gave those mechanics where you can actually lay on the floor and your gun would keep firing and you would just lay on the floor firing perfect for those like sneak ins or like those Mona had come through here clean up job sign of her passage nice open the door somebody <coughs> oh sorry bro oh, oh, bless you <laughs> This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. Jesus. Right, follow my lead. Yeah. <laughs> I was a cop. Is this my apartment? The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. I couldn't get through. Terrified. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I busted my hump. Jump and left me. This guy, this guy just pulls out two guns out of nowhere. Like homeless guy that lives here. Anyone would. Guess we have to go downstairs. Maybe turn off the gas pipe. My boss busted me for drinking. Set the rat squad loose on me. Goddamn slime bags! Open up! There are people trapped in here. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. Are Whoa. you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. Yeah. A girl's gotta protect herself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 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 Stop shooting me! Holy shit! Where the hell did she pull that gun out of? There's like... There's nowhere where she could have held that gun. Seriously. 
She just pulled it out of somewhere. I don't want to say where, but you guys get the idea. Why? I've never. I don't remember these followers. Weird. The gas valve was in the utility room. And these are it's like shitty corridors. Oh, nice. Oh, that deagle ammo. Man, this game is so good. I can't believe it. Totally forgot about how good it was. Are these the gas pipes? Oh, right With the there. gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. Awesome. Look at that. Programming at its finest. You move closer to the guys, they move away. So good. Okay, it's on the third floor, right? There we go back up. Save. Check around. How much ammo do I have? Oh man, the AK! God! I remember, whoa. Wow, everything is torched. Wow, the graphics are actually really fucking nice. I'm quite surprised. Holy shit. Wow. Whoops, accidentally fired. Uh, not out this way, this window. <laughs> hey, you there he is! Job. You heard what Cop said! <laughs> Jesus, that that hooker and that guy are like fucking destroying them. Get out of here! It's pretty funny. Let's go. I thought I was supposed to go to the third floor. Holy shit! Okay. Supposed to jump? What? Okay. What did I fall down there? That's really weird. Okay, well, whatever. Go back in the thing here, grab that. I'll save right here. No, that doesn't make any sense. Job, guys. Okay, so I came from there. I'm guessing I have to jump on here. Right? Let's save it. Oh, I see. The car just drives away with all of them dead inside. So good.
They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. <laughs> what next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Yeah. Breaks my heart. <laughs> what the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cognitti is behind the hits. Hey, cool bro. Thanks for the follow, man. Third party. Greatly appreciate it. Cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Why would I do anything Mona's stupid? Place was a closed down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. Oh my god, I remember this place. Holy shit, I remember this place. Oh, great. Awesome shotgun. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. <laughs> Scary. I don't know what to shoot, what not. I gotta be careful. I don't run like every fucking corner. Well, I don't like the blood here. Looks hilarious. Well, let's see here. Crazy. Trippy. I wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. The flesh. Oh, death is coming. I die. It's coming. I think I'm here. I'm here. Oh, no. oh, oh my god. god. Sneaking up on you. Oh my god. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere. Like a bad replay. It's fucking scary. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it. Even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. 
Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Boy, that scared the crap out of me. I actually thought I was gonna die there. Wow. Damn, I gotta say, for like a game, this is pretty amazing. Oh my god. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? Yes. This is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Whoa, trippy. Whoa. That is crazy. Just stand here for a couple of seconds here. Hold on, I gotta find out something. Uh, controls, combat, shoot secondary attack, mouse three. That's what I was looking for. I was looking, cause I have the, yeah, I have the secondary, okay, let's see. Mouse three. Oh, there we go. Wow, they even improved on that. Yes, they did. Crazy. Okay, so now at least I know how to throw grenades. I totally forgot how to throw grenades. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. Oh, that's locked. So this is open? Ah, okay. The physics don't work. Wow. Can't believe all the physics and everything work. Maybe like test rooms or something? Cool. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. This is door locked. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more. Keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. I'm guessing I have to go through that window. Huh, this is a weird place. Why would you make like a... Whatever. Lords and ladies brought to you in part by Go Touch Brandy. Is that her sister and her? It looks like it, yeah. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Is that an MP5? Oh my god! This game had an MP5! Sick! Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Oh my god. Leave our parents out of this. Is she showering? Oh yeah! Mona, you're no singer. Screenshot. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? It's a pretty cool place to live. Mona Sex. Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. Of course. 
You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. Hmm. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here. So we can stay in touch. Ooh. Walkie talkies. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. Okay, let's do this, lady. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. I call the police! I like she was a supermodel on a catwalk until she's standing real close to me at the bar and she goes, You pay that your The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. What? Next to the painting? What the fuck is a painting? Is this it? What? The door far to the right, next to the painting. Okay. Am I fucking missing something here? There's no painting there. Oh, this one. Well, that's just it. What you don't see is that we are working. Hold it! Coward! I'm a coward. Corcoran said that other inner circle members live in the building. Wow. Found a body. A thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. Okay. That's not him. Secret societies. Oh shit! Gotta look around. Whew! Fucking used the wrong weapon at the wrong time. Holy shit, that was bad. Uh, switch to the. Fucking threw. I just Nothing threw a here. grenade. Check upstairs. Oh, this guy's got a nice apartment. I'm going upstairs. This place needs to be cleaner. It's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when. The <laughs> I remember the spins! <laughs> so good. Fucking love the spins. So good. Ha! <laughs> Never gonna clean this apartment, ladies. Whoa. Medicine cabinet! There we go. No, all these doors are locked. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. That picture the in the back though. So involved. funny. 
Gonna love it. Whoa, shit. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Wow, okay. Holy crap, man. That was a bad nade. Fucking almost killed me. There we go. Got full HP. Save this shit. Wow, I got another rifle. I kind of love the accuracy of these guns. Door is locked. Uh, is this another? Is this somebody's apartment? Yeah, is this what? Is this someone's apartment? Huh? Weird. There's a dead guy. Hey, run! Get it! You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below. <laughs> that grenade fucked him up. Let's check out everything else. Oh, I can't go anywhere. And okay, I should be able to make this. Why are they gonna shoot me? Oh man, that... Berettas, here we go. Nice. Shotgun, save. Let's keep going. Holy shit. Did I switch gun? Oh no! That was bad. Mona, what next? More of them in the lobby ahead. Fuck. God, they threw a lot of grenades there. Just got the crap out of me. Damn, took a lot of pills. Fire? Did they fire a weapon at me? Hmm, okay. More pills. Man, some of these people have really nice houses. These are all apartments too, like two levels. Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right in the lobby behind the door. Thanks. Hey! Oh shit. I'm 
out of ideas, Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Damn, carbine, so good. Is this the apartment? Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator? I don't know, for fun, the thrill of it. Hey! <laughs> Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! What the fuck happened? Okay. Who the fuck is tossing these nades? Jesus. Neat. This is a nice clean apartment. Now look at this. Fuck your TV. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. That was good. Man, I've got a lot of rounds for that. The shotgun is actually really useful in- oh shit. The shotgun is actually really useful. It's not like the first game where, like, you gotta fire the set- Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Find him. Take care of him. Carbine. Oh. Fuck, so good. Hey. What the? Yeah, motherfucker. Beretta. Did I just take out Kaufman? Holy shit. I did. Fucking two seconds in. Let's do this. Let's go back. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Pain, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. 